In the Kilindi district of Tanzania, many girls have the same dreams as boys. But cultural practices, expectations and legislations mean that their opportunities are far from equal. This means, for example, that girls can't decide whom they want to marry, whether they want to have children, or whether they're allowed to follow education. Girls like Rhoda. Mimi nimezaliwa katika familia kubwa. Baba ana wake wawili. Mimi ni mtoto wa mke mdogo. Kwa mama tuko sita. Wavulana wawili na wasichana wanne. Lakini katika familia ya baba alikuwa kibezi sana kwa kufundisha kuwaweka shule watoto wa kiume tu. Akasema kwamba mimi umeona wadada zako na wadogo zako pia hakuna taka isoma kwa wasichana. Mimi katika historia ya baba ya baba yangu ambaye ndo babu yangu e, hakuna msichana katika familia ya kwetu atakaye enda shule. Lakini nilipokuwa nazidi kum, kumsumbua sana akaamua kunitafutia mchumba. Mwaka 2009 akaja kunitaka kuniozesha. Tulipofika nikamwambia kaka ambaye alikuwa na wale watu twende nyumbani akaniambia umeolewa akamwambia mimi tiolewi lengo langu ni shule na bado sijataka kuolewa lakini mimi nikakimbia nilikaenda kunuzuru maisha yangu Amref Health Africa wants to give girls like Rhoda a better future because their human rights are being violated and their health is in danger as a result of forced marriages unwanted pregnancies and harmful practices such as female genital cutting with the program Unite for Body Rights Amref Health Africa supports a structural change in all such issues that affect the health and rights of young people and women this is a challenge that demands dialogue and patience it requires education empowerment and the right facilities Kilindi is a very rural area you know it's an area where it has never been reached by either the government and many NGOs. Some communities hold with their traditional way of life, they hold on the cultures and some of these cultures are harmful to young people. We are focusing on three different uh, areas. We want to improve sexual and reproductive health of young people by uh, creating awareness through uh, sexual and reproductive health education. And then we want to improve uh, sexual and reproductive health uh, services by working with, with the health provision sector. But we, we also work in communities to create an enabling environment for young people to uh, enjoy uh, sexual and reproductive health and rights. Kitu kipo kwa sababu mara kwanza vijana nasa wa kike walikuwa hawajui kwamba wakiwa na tatizo waende wapi. Lakini kutokana na mimi kunikubali na kufanya hii kazi na jamii wakao amenikubali, unakuta msichana labda ana tatizo, anakufuata, unampa elimu, badala ya kumpa elimu msichana anaenda kwenye sehemu usika hasa kwenye zaanati na kupata huduma hizo. By encouraging discussions about the health and rights of young people and women, demand will grow for health services like contraception and tests for sexually transmitted diseases. When the demand goes high, the supply side should be taken care of so that young people can go to a health clinic and you know get services. So they need these services to be accessible, the services have to be affordable, yeah, and uh, healthcare providers also have to be very friendly to them so that young people are free to express their sexual and reproductive health services needs. When you want to facilitate and embed change in traditional communities, you have to involve all community leaders and all community members. It is very important to create the setting whereby every member of the society is involved in this program because when we involve them, they own the program then they will also know problems that young people face in their communities and they will also uh, you know propose their own solutions what we started to do was sensitizing the community to know what is sexual and reproductive health and rights so when when it came to the issue of rights community members themselves realized that they are violating some of their sexual rights of of, of girls yeah, that's why they said, okay, I think we need to come up with something that is, is going to guide us to, uh, to protect our girls and, 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 and women. And they proposed that they wanted to have 
bylaws that will, will, will govern them on how they can protect girls and, and women. So we worked together with, with, with the local government and also community members to really follow the right track on formulating bylaws. Tumeona kwamba kuna umuhimu kama serikali kwa yale ambayo mambo yameongelea amrefu yaweze kuenea katika wilaya nzima. Na kwa kupitia hiyo serikali au halmashauri ya wilaya ya Kilindi iliona ni muhimu kutengeneza sheria ndogo. Besides supporting local governments, Amref Health Africa focuses on the improvement of rights on a national level through lobby and advocacy work. As a result, the president recently signed a bill that entitles students who become pregnant while studying to resume their study after giving birth. Yeah, Amrefu wamesaidia sana kwa sababu Amrefu ndio walikuwa of course wamefanya wame utafiti na kuona kwamba kuna shida watoto wengi wanakosa zile haki zao za msingi na kwa kupitia hiyo wamefanya wame vikao mbalimbali kwa kupitia jamii na kushirikisha serikali na serikali kwa kuona umuhimu huo wame, wameweza kupitisha hiyo sera Fula yangu kubwa ni kuona mabadiliko yametokea mara tu baada ya mradi huu kuanza Kingine ni kwamba nasisitiza katika jamii yangu hata mlefu akiondoka nitazidi kutoa elimu ya afya ya uzazi katika jamii yangu sio kwamba kuondoka kwa amlefu ndio aondoke na hii elimu hapana nitazidi kujitolea katika jamii yangu na kutoa mafunzo ya afya ya uzazi ili jamii yangu iweze kubadilika kwa sababu ni kwa faida ya jamii na sio kwa faida ya amlefu tu yani mpaka nipende sekta ya mwanasheria ni kwa sababu tu kwanza jamii ya kwetu inabizi kuwanyanyasa sana watoto wa kike. Na najua kwamba nikija kuwa mwanasheria nitapata fursa nzuri ambayo nitaweza kuwazaidia hasa watoto wa kike.